Now connecting PIR sensor with microcontroller is really simple. The PIR act as a digital output so the middle pin of this module is an output pin which will connect to any digital pin of Arduino. There is one VCC that is plus 5 volt and one ground pin so there are only three pins uh, VCC, out and ground. There are two adjustable points, one for to adjust the delay time which is somewhere 0.3 seconds to 5 minutes and other one is to adjust the sensitivity. Sensitivity means a distance in which um, the range of the IR goes. So it's a distance somewhere up to 7 meter. There is a jumper on the module which can which we can set it to high which will enable re-triggering. Let's look at a final circuit setup for this project. Red wire represent connection between plus 5 volt of Arduino to plus 5 volt of VCC pin of the sensor module. Blue wire represent connection between Arduino digital pin 2 and output pin of sensor module. In the end we have a black wire which always represent ground for both Arduino and PIR sensor module. After setting up circuit, let's move towards the screen and start writing a code. In this project, we'll detect the human presence when we take our hand next to the sensor or when our hat, hand will be in a sensor range, then LED which is connected to pin number 13 of Arduino will turn on. And as soon as we uh, take the hand off from the sensor range or the IR range, then this LED will turn on. So that's how we're going to measure the uh, measure the human uh, presence into the IR range of the sensor. So let's not waste your time. Go ahead to the screen and start writing a code. So let's start writing a code. What you can see on my screen is I have a setup function and I have a loop function. So this is a basic structure of the code from where we're going to start writing a code. So as we know our circuit schematic and circuit setup so we know we need to have in one variable that is an LED variable that's we will define it to pin number 13 because that's where our LED is connected to. Then we need another variable that is again integer variable. We'll give it a name pin and then we'll make it two because uh, this uh, pin is the one um, that is going to connect to digital pin two of Arduino to the output pin of the um, PIR sensor. We need one more integer variable that is called value. This is a random variable that will hold the data coming from the sensor for a while and we need one more variable that is an integer again PIR state. So this is an integer uh, variable that uh, will keep track the status of the the sensor, PIR sensor, whether it's um, um, it's um, whether it's detects the high or low uh, voltage on that particular pin means the output pin of the sensor. We need to go back to the setup function and we have to define the pin mode for both of these pins that we are using pin number 13 and pin number 2. So let me write a pin mode and we have to define a pin mode for pin number 13 that is an LED and we have to define it as an output. Set up the pin mode as an output because LED is an output device. Then we have to write a pin mode for another pin which is uh, pin that is connected to sensor and Arduino pin 2 that is a pin and this will be the input because a PIR sensor has a digital input uh, pin which is an output from the sensor and then we need to have a serial function in order to debug the application so I'm going to write serial.begin and I would like to give it the baud rate 9600 so once this is done we have to go back to the loop function and that's where all the magic starts. We have to write down the value variable that will hold the data from the sensor and we have to write digital read because this will read the data coming from pin number 2 which is where the sensor um, output is connected to and then we have to check if um, the value is equal equals to high then we have to check uh, one more thing like uh, first of all when if a value is equal equals to high that means when the human object or human body comes into the IR range then we have to say digital digital right we have to turn on the LED so we'll say digital right and we want to make this LED to be high to turn on the LED and then we're going to check the status of the sensor so PIR state is equal equals to let's say low 
and then because by default in the beginning we have kept this PIR state to become in low so that will be zero so if the PIR state equal equals to zero then we have to send the string serial dot print new line and we're going to print on serial monitor motion detected and then we'll make PIR state variable to become an let's say high this time because by default we want to set it to low so that is all we have to do so let me remove this white space I can press ctrl A select everything and ctrl T to auto format it right and then I have to write else if human body leaves the IR range then what we want to do is we would write digital right and we want to turn off the LED so as to measure if the body human body leaves the IR range so I will say low so turn off the LED and then we have to check again if uh, PIR state is equal equals to high and uh, we have to send a string debug string like uh, serial dot print new line and uh, I would like to send motion and it so body now leaves the IR range right IR area detection area sensing area and then we'll make PIR state to become in low again and uh, that's all I think we have to do so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna saving this file and I'm going to upload the sketch and see what happens so it says like some some places where I forgot the semicolon so this is a pin number 29 where I think I forgot So I forgot here the, the the semicolon so I put it and let me upload the code and see if it works now. Okay, so in the lower left corner you can see done uploading. So if I open a serial monitor right now, you can see there is nothing because there is no human object into the IR range. So let me take my hand close to the sensor and you can see right now motion is detected. And it will take 5 seconds and then it will show motion ended because after 5 seconds, I mean I set it up the time delay uh, very little. Uh, so that after five seconds the motion is ended when you take your hand off the uh, IR range. So let me take my hand again into the IR range and you can see motion detected once again and LED is turned on and after five seconds let's say motion is ended right so the human body leaves the um, IR range. So let me try once again you can see LED is turned on and I take my hand off and maybe in five seconds the motion ended that's cool that's what we wanted to check right so now as you can see um, this PIR sensor can actually sense the human object or human body into the IR range I hope you will find this video educational and entertaining thank you very much for watching this video